How exciting is it to stumble upon things that are very valuable? You may or may not think this is valuable, but I know it's valuable. I was at the pawn shop the other day just looking to see what they had, and lo and behold, this beauty was on the shelf, buried underneath some cheaper versions of it. The cheap $50 versions you can find at the Harbor Freights. But this one, if you don't know what it is, it's called a come along. This one is made in the USA. It is cast aluminum by a company called Lug All. And I am so excited to find it. Guess how much this thing was? 20 bucks. 19.99 sitting there. So, prepare to be stunned at how much these retail for. This retails for $270, and it is in fantastic condition. Yes, it's a little dirty. Yes, the, it's got a tiny bit of surface rust right here on the hook. And yes, there's one tiny little fragment of the cable that is frayed right here. That could easily be fixed, but it's not a worry. This is not... not significant damage that it would cause the cable to fail. If you're unfamiliar with a come along, these are very valuable. A lot of firefighters use them. They're used on ranches and farms to pull large heavy objects. You can get a mechanical advantage by using this dual hook or dual uh, this pulley and uh, dual hooks here. Look at that works perfectly. I checked it before I left the store, but I am so very excited about this. Just keep your eyes open. This thing, I don't know why it was turned in. Maybe somebody needed the money, but this should last me a lifetime. Absolutely a lifetime. You know, the only other thing here is this little, little clip here is uh, out of alignment. The spring is, is broken, but you know what? That's easily fixed as well. I can pull a truck with this, this beauty right here. I can pull a truck with a load. Double this up. This is a one and a half ton of pull right here. This is a quick demonstration of that beautiful lug all come along tool that we found at the pawn shop. Um, absolutely essential tool. Pulling vehicles, pulling large logs in, uh, in the forest or on your property. This is just for demonstration purposes, obviously. This is easily moved, but uh, we just wanted to show you how to, uh, how to utilize the tool. This is a great addition to any homestead. We want to show this to you. Uh, it's great to keep in any vehicle if you need to assist in getting another vehicle out of trouble. And, you know, it's a hand winch. That's what a come along tool is. So, you've got the extra hook here for the mechanical advantage that, you know, doubles your pulling power. It's absolutely amazing. So, what we're going to do here is we're going to hook it up, show you how to do that, and give you a quick demonstration. What you can do is you're going to lift up on this lever first. That's going to allow this catch to release from the gearing, which will allow it to free spool. There's another lever right here that allow. This is another safety catch. So this will allow you to pull out the cabling. Now watch your fingers. Obviously, this is this can you know pinch and damage uh, your fingers and. Uh, and other parts of the body if you're not careful. All right, so we've run a little line out here. Let's bring the main body of the come along tool back to an anchor point, a solid anchor point. Uh, this is obviously for demonstration purposes. We've just got it attached to a metal fence pole that's driven down into the ground, probably three feet here. You're going to want to attach it to a vehicle or a tree if you're pulling out 
another vehicle. Attach it to your vehicle to pull logs. So now we're ready to move our object, whatever that may be. We're going to engage the catch mechanism again. And that gives us the ability then to start utilizing the tool. Again, keep your keep your hands back. And as this tightens up here, you can let go of it because the tension on the cable is going to keep it up for you. As you utilize and move your object towards you. You want to be very careful if this is under tension. If you let back down on it, because that can uh, that can spool out. It can snap the cable back at you, and you don't want that. So you're going to slowly let it down here to the ground. Slowly, it'll let it down until there's no tension left in the cable. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our our hook, our intermediary hook with the pulley on it, and we're going to hook that onto the object we want to pull. We're going to take the end hook here and run it back to the tool and securely fasten it there. As you can see, the mechanical advantage you've now split your load in two and you can pull twice as much. Just make sure that the come along that you're utilizing is rated for the poundage you're trying to pull. Also make sure that the chain and any connection piece that you have, any hook, is also rated for the poundage that you're trying to pull. These chains are rated for 5,400 pounds, so is the hook, so you want to be safe and make sure those are all rated properly. Now I can already tell this is twice as easy to pull because we have twice the pulling power here. It's moving a little slower, but you can pull twice the amount of weight. So it's a huge, huge help when uh, getting yourself out of a sticky situation. You don't have a power winch. This is a, this is a great alternative to a power winch if you can't afford that. And it is a tool that you're going to use, like I said, for so many different things. It is a must-have on the homestead. You know, maybe not one, unless you can find it at a pawn shop or a garage sale that's this expensive if you can't afford it. Maybe it's a little bit less expensive Harbor Freight one, and if that's what you got to do, that's what you got to do. I highly recommend that you get one that is a little bit more pricey because it's going to last you forever. This tool was used by somebody else for a long time. And now I'm going to use it for a lifetime unless I need to get rid of it. And the Harbor Freight tool, you know, a buddy of mine had one and it just stamped steel, thin stamped steel, and it blew apart on him. So money down the drain for him. Today I have my helper with me, Ariel. Say hi, Ariel. Hi, Ariel. What are you making? I'm making um, tools. You're making tools? What are you making with the sawdust? Mm. You gonna bake a cake or something? Yeah. Awesome. What's the tool you're using? What's this one? That's a screwdriver. Good job, Ariel. Thank you for helping Daddy. Say bye. Bye. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed the video and the bonus footage. My little helper is amazing. If you like our channel, we'd love for you to subscribe. And if you like the video, give us a thumbs up, click the like button. Also click on the video on the right hand side of the screen to see how we install a PEX plumbing system in our friend's house. Enjoy. Have a great day.